Hello everyone. So today I'm going to present Henri Poincaré, uh, who was born in France in 1854, where he lived until 1912. Um, he came from a wealthy family. His father was professor of medicine and his cousin, Raymond Poincaré, became president of France. Uh, he was sick as a child, having contracting diphtheria, and for many years he was taught by, at home by his mother. He, there he found the love for books and for knowledge. Um, in 1862, he was enrolled in the Lycée, where he quickly became one of the top students. He graduated in 1871 with a bachelor degree in science and letters and continued his study at the École Polytechnique, where he graduated in 1875. Henri Poincaré is recognized as a mathematician, physician, as well as philosophy, and is considered as one of the most important scientists of his century. He became known as a polymath, which is a person with a vast array of knowledge uh, across a vast array of subjects. In almost 40 years of professional career, he published more than 550 scientific papers and is still challenging today to produce an exhaustive inventory of all his contributions to science. Um, Poincaré made significant contribution to many areas of science, mathematics, and physics. Some of these included celestial mechanics, fluid mechanics, optics, potential theory, quantum theory, theory of real relativity, and physical cosmology. Specific topics among these subjects included the chaos, the chaos theory, the theory of electromagnetism, the special theory of relativity, number theory, the Poincaré recurrence theorem, and algebraic geometry and there were many others. In 1905, uh, Poincaré proposed gravitational wave emanating from a body and propagating at the speed of light. Interestingly, Poincaré worked on the theory of relativity at the same time as Einstein, although the two had different interpretation in the work that they did. Poincaré continued with the Eder theory while Einstein established the mathematical equivalent. In 1881, Poincaré put forward a new branch of mathematics called the qualitative theory of differential equation. Uh, it studied the properties of solution of ordinary differential equation without finding the solution themselves. He made use of geometric method regarding the solution of system of differential equation as curve in an appropriate space. He was able to demonstrate his method in relation to solution mechanics as well as mathematical physics. Um, Poincaré used his mathematical skills to look at some of the biggest problems in science and develop the field of mathematical physics. He was the first person to describe in mathematical term how three planets in orbit affects each other's past as they pass nearby one another. This was called the three body problems, where Poincaré uh, introduced the theory of determinist chaos to explain why the application of Newtonian physics does not allow to predict trajectory of several celestial bodies. Uh, this theory was so inno innovative that the real application of the theory did not start before 1960. It is, however, now used in many different fields in physics, mechanics, computer sciences, biology, ecology, and, e and electronic, and describe now as the butterfly effect. According to this theory, a single move of a butterfly of wings in Singapore can produce a hurricane in Texas. Um, Poincaré also contributed to uh, a getaway in modern ge geometry with his half-plane model that is still used to this day. Um, he created also the Poincaré conjecture, one of the most famous problems in mathematics, which was only solved a hundred years later. He became, uh, began the branches of mathematics, which are known today as chaos theory and topology. Uh, throughout his life, he won many awards and honors. I'm not going to name them all, but for example, he was elected president of the French Academy of Science in 19, uh, 1906. Um, he was a member of the American Philosophical Society. He won uh, the Bruce Medal and the Gold Medal, Medal of the Royal Astronomical Society of London. Uh, with other information, um, a fun fact about Poincaré is that there's an asteroid and a, crat and a crater uh, on the moon named after him. Um, he is also recognized uh, as a simplistic writer. So uh, it was really uh, easy to, for people, ordinary people to understand uh, his mathematical theory because he was uh, a simple writer. Um, otherwise, there's also uh, Henri Poincaré Prize, which is a mathematical physics international prize, and an institute Henri Poincaré, which is a center for mathematical mathematics and theoretical physics. Thank you.